Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one that came out of an umai crate. So you can go to japancrate.com, use the coupon code the Ramen Raider on the uh, umai crate over there. It's a big oblong yellow box full of neato Japanese stuff to try. Mostly ramen, some DIY stuff, recipes, things like that. So it's really cool. Anyways, this is... Uh... <laughs> Yamamoto Simon with their Chinese miso. Do I have this even up? Yeah, I got it up right. Yamamoto Simon with their Chinese miso flavor variety. So let's do this. Did I leave it over here? I did. Here we are. So let's examine what we have here. We have a noodle, a that, and a liquid. And what's weird about this one, it says put it all in first, which kind of is not generally the way that you do it, but whatevs, I'll do it. That's what they told me to do. I think that would probably be the way to do it. So let's put this in there. There's our Chinese miso soup base, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, why don't you? So I'm still kind of experimenting with this camera setup. I, it seemed like the music was like low on the last one, but I'm gonna, I had it just up a little bit on this one. There we go. Interesting. I just don't know. I guess we'll find out. Or at least I will. I wish there was a way to make it so you could taste through YouTube. I think that's really something they need to develop. And then there's the the stuffings. And we'll jump this in here to the line. And we're gonna use this one. Well, don't, 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 I did, did, did. And three minutes. You know what is kind of like weirding me out lately is that we've got uh, Imperial and we have Metric, but everybody uses the same kind of time. There's like seconds milliseconds nanoseconds hours minutes days when it gets to like calendar stuff that gets kind of a little bit different there's all sorts of different calendars but when it comes to like time it seems like there isn't any kind of other things i wonder if anybody's done anything about didn't didn't they do in like battlestar galactica there's like well that'll be about three centons from now and uh I don't know, there's different terms for it, like a fortnight or a, uh, God, what was the one? Four score and something, something, something. I can't remember what it is, but there's a few other, like, terms. A month of Sundays. Uh, once in a blue moon. I mean, there's term terms for, like, there's, like, cliches and... and anachronisms and this is and that's is but as far as like time it seems like it's just kind of on the same thing i mean even when they have like atomic clocks that work on the basis of molecular decay rates they're still in minutes seconds hours all that stuff so i think right now right here with you we're going to set up a new way of measuring time and i think one unit of time would translate over to being three minutes. And we'll call the time noodle time. So one hour would be uh, 20 noodles. So that'd be like 60 minutes. So, hey, when, when, when's the bus coming? Oh, about a noodle from now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the next one will show up in a batch of noodles. It'd be like 20. Noodles and batches, okay. 
what's a day though? Three, got 24, so eight out, eight. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Now it's getting all out of hand. I guess I would require a little bit more thought and to try to set up a, a chronometric system of, of the passage of time based on three minute noodle cooking, but I, I guess I don't really have to do that. I don't know, I'm just waiting for the frickin' timer to run out. Come on, it's hard to come up with new material all the time. At least we've got seven seconds left. So there you go. And here we go. All right. Well, that's enough of that silliness. Here's our bowl of noodles. Look at that. Look at it, we just look. All right. Let's give it a serious stir. Oh, I don't know. This smells kind of funny. It smells a little funny. I'm not sure that I'm getting with this right now. And it's quite hot. <clears throat> so this is very reminiscent of... I mean, there's so many bowls like this in Japan. There's... The Yamamoto Siphon. We've got Monaco over here, but I'm sure their Monaco looks a lot different. We just get the export version. Um, who else makes them? God, there's a ton. Yamamoto Siphon, Yamamoto Saimen. Uh, but foam bowl, outer label or not. Yeah. There is our noodle. They generally just don't come out all that great, which kind of bums me out, but we'll see. Hmm. That. That is interesting, folks. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Let's see, I wanna make sure you can see it. Come out right there. Can you see that, bro? Yeah. Heavy on red miso, kind of salty. Let's see, how's the veg? Oh, that looks like corn. Yep, hydrated well. There's been an ongoing kind of saga between uh, myself and a friend in the Ramen Junkies group. Go on Facebook, look up Ramen Junkies. You'll be possibly happy about that. Um, right now they're fighting about, somebody posted a picture of this v white miso vegan ramen that they swear by and people just like, you know, you can't tell us to eat this food. We can eat whatever we want. Don't do that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. People in people on Facebook fight about anything they can possibly fight about, I swear. But today they're fighting about whether the food they eat has meat in it or not. As I always say, if you can't put a paper towel over your face because you think it's infringing on your rights when all you got to do is that to help you protect from getting sick. Rape for takeover. Come on, come on. Anyways. Bunch of wieners. <laughs> My last slice. Oh, Chashu. Wow. And that's a lovely slice of Chashu, I gotta say. Now we need an egg. Go, go, go. I'll make lunch in a minute, sweetie. She's peeking around the corner, being a little freako. Hold on, I'll let you say hi to the nice people. Just stay out right now. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Alright. Okay. 
These last couple eggs have been kind of... Go, go, go! Come on! I'm working here. I'm working here. Ugh. Ugh. Whining and complaining. I want to do they just want to go back to school. It's midwinter break. They just want to go back to school because we're boring. I'm going to hang out with the boring old people here. <sighs> you know, I'm going to go with the black seeds. I need to get more sesame seeds. I need to find a... I need to go somewhere and get some... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, mung bean sprouts because our grocery store only gets mung bean sprouts that'll last for like three days and I'm really sick of it. Especially when like something comes up and it's like I only do like three reviews out of one bag and they're like two bucks a bag. It's a tragedy. Okay. Whoa. Right about. Okay, let's do this. New song. people too. Hi. Hi Miles. Hi nice people. Hi. All right. Go, 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 go. You're crowding me in the kitchen anyways. My children, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This has been Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one.